What is up guys, I'm Buren here today with another fantastic deck. Today we're going to talk about the Florges Doll deck. So, the doll, right, the Lily's uh, Poké Doll is uh, the new item card. I'm going to show it right here. It's a new item card that, well, is, I think, one of the most annoying items that you can play if played right. There are a few versions. I know there's a Saucebag version of this deck. And we have to prepare things for Native Ryan, but it's going to be next week on the channel. So, this is the item that says you can play it. It has 30 HP, but if it gets knocked out, well, your opponent does not get a prize. Just like you have, you know, um, I don't remember the attack from VG, say, that leaves the doll as well, right? So, it's really just taken out of VGC to the TCG, and I really, 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 really like that idea, but it's an item, right? You have to have an option to bring back that item, and there he is. There's a floor guest with Wanderer's Gift ability, which is once during your turn, you may flip a coin if heads put an item from your discard pile on top of your deck. So you know, next turn, you're drawing that item, right? Because it is on top of your deck. So that is going to be the whole strategy, plus some PG's PGROs as well. Of course, uh, I think the Soulsback version is a little bit superior, but I don't have all the pieces to actually show this uh, version to you guys, but hopefully next week I will be able to, right? So this is like, you know, a toned down version of the deck. So let's take a look. So we've got a PG and PGRO, of course PGRO, so we can already uh, draw the doll, then we have line of 323 three of Flouette and Florges, of course, and of course, Wanda Dana, just to discard some more stuff, just to you know, go through the deck a little bit more. So, we're gonna be at this, you know, last few cards, so it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, for us. Then we got four custom catchers, four Lily's Poké Dolls, four Poké Gears 3.0, three Rare Candies, three Switches, three Shrines of Punishment, and I know this is gonna be kind of interesting, three Bryceman and Balbellas, and this is just, you know, me trying out this card, and honestly, there were some situations that, because again, we will, will be stalling, right, where discarding uh, the cards of my opponent really helped me, and I was able even once to deck them out when they have three cards left, because no one actually expects Belbella and Bryceman, so this is a cool tech card to have in a deck, and I want to do even more uh, stuff with this card. So we've got also one Brox Grit, just in case, two Cynthia's, three Green's Explorations, one Lily's Full Force, I've hit my head, and we've got three Pokemon's Elm Lectures with one U-Turn Board and ten uh, fairy type, I want to say psychic, fairy type energy. So that is the whole deck. Let's go, let's play it. So again, this is like one of two versions, right? And I know the Sazbuck one, from what it, you have told me, is a lot, a lot better, but I do think this is still a great one and it's still a funny one to play. And also, you know, again, Friday is almost there, it's almost Sword and Shield time, so some fun is also good, right? We not always have to be super hardcore and super, you know, going straight into knocking out your opponent. We can also have some fun, crea be creative, and maybe, you know, from decks like that, we'll, be, we'll have more and more ideas. So, win streak of 9, on the line, let's go. Do you want to go first or do you want to go second? You do want to go first, because you are evolving. Let's take a look, let's take a sip at the coffee. Is it consistent? Am I more consistent with coffee than in TCGO? Oh, all right, uh, too much. Oh, that. Ooh, ooh, that is a diabetes in the. Oh my. Ooh, ooh. Okay, there's just wow. Okay, um, the DNA, worst start ever. Oh, honestly, that is like diabetes in in NA. In a mug. Oh boy, yeah, I, yeah, I went too far. Ooh. Okay, so we got Poipul. Of course, I'm gonna play Elm's Lecture, my turn one, definitely. Not really Green's Exploration. And there we go, you see, that's what I like. You see Raven, and we've got even Pack. You see Raven, and you just give up because you know you're gonna lose. And 10 win streak still, still happening. There we go, 240. Let's go. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. Let's move to game number two because I don't think that was much of a game, right? But we had a really bad start. So let's see here against Broken Vase uh, Heads. 
I know Tails never fails, but heads for your yeah, boy Raven, and I'm going first. So that is really, really cool. And well, we don't have Flabay Bay, but we, at least we're both mulliganing, so that is really cool. Okay. We still don't have. Oh man, come on. And I think I'm facing what Mew 3? No. Something weird, that's what I'm gonna say. But again, I'm playing weird deck as well. So let's take one more mulligan. I hope that's one more. We got a flat bay bay. F oh, that is okay. That's not good. Like five mulligans is just bad for me. I, I'm gonna assume because he's gonna draw those five cards. So he's gonna start a game with ten already. Not good. That's not a good spot. But he starts with the Dene, so I can just go with Elm's Lecture. One, two. And three. There we go. So setting up PGs. Then we're gonna set up Florgas. And I know I need like two dolls. Uh, well, all the time. Because, you know, one's gonna get knocked out. Then one's gonna be active. You draw one from top of your deck. So I need two Florgas, two Pidgeotos at least. Uh, one active doll and one doll bench. It's kind of similar to what you do with a Nuzzle deck when you have... Yeah, so that's a Mew 3. Where you have... Uh, Patrizzi, but you also don't want to have, you know, two Pikachus and three Amolgas. So this is, you know, something like that. So I really have to be careful here. Oh, I... Um... That's a knockout. <laughs> okay, so yeah. He's just going after me. He doesn't care. He going going after me. Tackle, okay, so he's gonna go for probably, you know, a supporter card. So again, when we thought about, you know, tag team, uh, yeah, there we go, uh, tag team cards, and the fact that they are, well, poorly done in stand of art, uh, in, in case of art, of course. I think, you know, tackle kind of makes them okay, but uh, not every... Let's go. So, Pidgeotto. <sighs> now I have a problem, because to be quite honest, there is not a lot of things that I can do. Nope. I mean, Cynthia, maybe, you know, that would be help. There we go. Okay, thanks, Cynthia. Appreciate it. So I can use Bell Bell and Bryceman, but this... But it doesn't make any any sense right now to use it. It's just not a good card. All right, but we got a doll. So I'm gonna give away this PG. I'm so sorry, PG, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice you. I'm I'm so sorry. I mean, you know, I know we've we've been close friends. I know, but it just I mean, sorry, you have to go. You have to go when you have to go. I'm sorry, mate. So, next turn in Lily, Lily's play doll to be quite honest, you know, there goes Marshadow. Oh boy, Welder. Like, that's the thing, if you're not gonna draw everything you need in those first few turns, it's not really good, it's not really happening. Of course, you know, weakness, right? Weakness was involved. Pidgeotto Airmail. And I can't even play greens right now. So, Shrine. PG again. But this time I'm gonna attack. I mean, you know, 10 damage slowly getting there. Nah, no, this is a bad game. This is just bad, bad game. Dang it. Fear of Flint. Yeah, I couldn't get to all my pieces in time. It's kind of like with Moltres deck. When you're not gonna get to the stage 2s in time, you're in a really, really rough spot. 
And I think, you know, we, we can call that one of those rough spots at this point right now. Especially, you know, looking at what's gonna happen next. Which is GG. It's Dioxus. GX attack. That's a GG. Oh, that was not good, definitely. We've lost a win streak, though, so... That's a sad, that's a sad thing. <coughs> I mean, you know, sometimes you go through decks like that. It happens. It may, maybe, maybe actually at the sauce back. But again, if I can't get, you know, the pieces, it doesn't matter that much. Maybe, you know, in like two weeks' time, we're going to go back to this deck and we're going to change some stuff. Because uh, then, you know, in two weeks' time, I'm probably going to open a lot more things that I've opened, opened uh, right, right now. Okay, let's go. So, I'm gonna start with PG. We got Flabebe, and we got PG again. Shrine of Punishment, that's gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze, and I don't want to. I'm so sorry. Oh, that would have... What voice was that, Raven? What voice was that? My goodness. Goodness me, someone might say. Are we Gumi so might uh I wanna do that. I wanna do you have a good deck. Cause that might be quite interesting game to be quite honest. <laughs> and the opponent kind of realizes what I have as well. Um Yeah, but it's gonna take some time to, to, to build. At least you know, at least I can uh, put put some damage here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So we're both stall decks. Which is not even a lie, it's like we are both a stall deck. So I think in this matchup, right, okay, I know he's gonna attack with, uh, with, with, with Behaim, but it's quite a, a unique idea, actually, to put Behaim in this deck. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's interesting, definitely it is interesting to, to, to see, uh, Behaim deck. <laughs> That's a knockout, and I don't like it. But because it's a Behaim deck, um, I know this deck relies on the fact that he has to have a low count on cards. So in this game, like Bryceman and Belbella can actually, actually, actually help me. Hmm. You know what? Let's go like that. Because I'm going to have Florius. Cool. Airmail. Okay, so Lily's full force. So I'm taking Lily's full force. Just so I can draw cards. And that's not a good draw, by any means. So I'm gonna keep Catcher and I'm gonna keep Pokegear. So everything else goes by. I honestly, I did thought we we're gonna draw. Uh, that we we're gonna draw. Um, Pokedoll. Like, honestly, that's what I thought we we're gonna draw. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Which is a huge bummer. 
But I mean, you know, it, and this game might take some time. So you know, get get your coffee ready, because let me tell, this is gonna take some time uh, before. I mean, you know, Mr. Treasure actually put him a little bit, you know, more on the map. The board presence is is on his side. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, you no know, shrine of punishment working. So I mean, it's cool. <laughs> so come on, just p come on. Okay, airmail. Just like I needed another one, right? So Elm's Lecture. Alright, PG, Flabay Bay. So I mean I know there's a Poke Gear that I can try to get. So you know what? Yeah, let's try it. Because this Poke Gear might be important for the next turn. Like who knows? And he has a free treat cost. You know what? I'm gonna be annoying. Let, let's just go for it. So I'm gonna play two switches. I'm gonna draw this Oricorio. I mean, I know he might have another U-turn board, sure. But you know what? I'm gonna assume he has not have it. Like, there's no another U-turn board. Because there's nothing else I can do and... I have to assume that, you know, I'm going to slow him down this way. Right? And I know he's trying to grind through his deck. So because we are single prize attackers, well, that's not that's not actually that that bad. All right, there we go. So that was okay. Mm. Nothing. Airmail. Finally, there we go. So there goes <laughs> at least all. Airmail. Now let's try to get a Poke Gear. Or actually, no. Yeah, I've, you see, I should have done that. So that's my misplay. Uh, I should have done that first, then use the, uh, then use, use, use Pidgeotto. Hmm. Behem. So that's a knockout on one of Pidgeotto's, and he knows I'm gonna just put uh, my Lily's Pokédex as an active. Well, it's quite interesting that he has, well, to some degree, no idea about my master plan with 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 Brisman and Bilbella. Mysterious noise, alright. Sure, go back to the deck. So yeah, he knows the least Pokedoll is coming. Hmm. So I know I can't use items anymore due to his attack. So airmail. Energy. At least I'm gonna have a retreat. So if you, you know, if you wanted a tier one, you know, super heavy game, this is not gonna be one, definitely. This is, you know, 
Pokemon TCG at its finest, at its peak. <laughs> this is gonna take some time. I mean, if we're gonna be l longer than, you know, like 40 minutes, um, I'm gonna give up, <laughs> don't worry. We do want to have to start putting energy on the floor gas or something to, to, to attack. It's all cool and fun, but I have to start attacking. I have to start doing something. Because I don't know my own prize cards. But, I mean, you know, I'm still attacking with Oricorio, so that's not bad. Uh, attacking Oricorio, not with Oricorio, but Oricorio with my Shrine of Punishment, so yeah, that's cool. Poke Gear. I know he's gonna be super surprised. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna just play Custom Catcher for Flabebe, sure. Uh, Airmail. Hmm. Well, let's play it. I mean, I don't have anything else to play, so let's go for it. Okay, and I've discovered one L gem. Okay, that's good. There's no more mysterious treasures, no more stuff. Okay. And I'm gonna put myself another Poké Gear on top. Done. Shrine of Punishment, the MVP of this game, to be honest. Dude, this is, this is gonna go like 24, 28 more turns. I don't think, you know, the 20 minute time clock... ...is gonna be enough. But as you know, a cool idea to, to, to use Doll in the KM deck. I've never thought about that, but it's a really interesting idea, to be quite honest. It's like, okay, you know, it, it, it can work, and it's not that bad. The thing is, I just really have to get rid of Behaim, so... Hmm. There goes Mysterious Noise, I can't play items. But I think we're slowly getting to the point where he is. I'm gonna do it constantly. So Pokegear is gonna be a bad idea, because I can't play it, but I still have ear Airmail. Airmail, Airmail. So the question is, can he actually attack with Behaim this turn? I know he's... oh, he's digging. He is digging for it. But he like, Behaim destroys... yeah, that's a GG. He destroys my idea uh, of the deck, unfortunately. <coughs> so that is Pidgeotto uh, doll deck for you guys. Deck is bad. It's super bad, don't play it. Um, I'm, I apologize for the deck, it's just bad. It's bad, 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 bad. Uh, I'm gonna try the sauce bug version. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'm just too dumb to play it, because it also is a possibility. I have, a pre I have prepared a sauce bug version, so we're gonna go and play sauce bug version uh, probably next week, when I'm gonna draw get all the sauce bugs that I need. So guys, thank you so much for that video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon TCG decks, for more Sword and Shield content, because again, on Friday, we're gonna stream with my fiance Sword and Shield on Twitch, and then, like, this footage is gonna land on YouTube, but also, later, we're gonna have a lot of stuff coming onto YouTube as well. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Goodbye, good night, and thank you down there below with 5% discount on any code to purge on Professor Oak. <laughs> night night. Bye.